Good day, learners! Welcome to another amazing discussion. I am Sir Denver Taquino and I will be your teacher for this lesson. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us check out first our most essential learning competence. For this lesson, our most essential learning competency is to describe the horizontal and vertical motions of a project path. Many of the games you play and the sporting events you join or officiate in during PE classes involve flying objects or balls. Have you noticed the curved paths they make in mid-air? This curve is what naturally happens when an object called a projectile moves in two dimensions, having both horizontal and vertical motion components acted by gravity only. In physics, this is called projectile motion. Not only balls fly when in projectile motion. Have you noticed that in many sports and games, players come flying to Understanding motion in two dimensions will help you apply the physics of sports and enhance game events experiences. Projectile motion is a combination of uniform motion along the horizontal and the motion of a freely falling body along the vertical. It is an instance of uniformly accelerated motion in two dimensions. The moving body is called a projectile. The curved path it travels is known as the trajectory, and the horizontal distance it covers is called the range. The horizontal and vertical motions of a projectile are completely independent of each other. Therefore, horizontal and vertical motion can be treated separately. There are two types of projectile motion. First is a projectile launched horizontally, and we also have the projectile launched at an angle. For your first activity, we have the jumbled letters. Direction rearrange the letters to form the word described in each statement. Let us take a look at the kinematic equations for projectile motion. Where dx is the range and the dy is the height. While vi is the initial velocity or the initial speed and the viy is the initial vertical velocity. vix is for the initial horizontal velocity and vfy is for the final vertical velocity. We also have the VFX or the final horizontal velocity and G is for the gravitational acceleration which has a constant value of 9.8 meter per second square. We also have the T for the total time of flight and another T for the time of flight. We also have the theta as the angle of projection. Let us try to answer a sample problem. We have here the problem, if a bullet is fired with a speed of 600 meters per second horizontally from a height of 48 meters, how long will it take to hit the ground? What is the range of the projectile? And assume that, that there is no air resistance. So we have here our given so we have the VIX or the initial horizontal velocity which is equal to 600 meter per second and we also have the initial vertical velocity which is zero because the bullet was fired horizontally. We also have the DY which is equal to negative 48 meters. Negative sign is indicate because the height of the fall. Now, let us try to find the time and the dx. To compute for the time, we have the square root of negative 2dy over the acceleration due to gravity. So, we have the square root of negative 2 multiplied by negative 48 meters divided by 9.8 meter per second square. 
So our time will be 3.1 seconds. To compute for the dx, we will use the equation dx is equal to vix multiplied by time. So in our given, we have the value of vix which is 600 meter per second. And we have computed the value of time which is 3.1 seconds. So let us multiply 600 by 3.1 to get 1,860 meters. For your learning task number 2, you are going to answer this given problem. A marble is thrown horizontally from a tabletop with a velocity of 1.5 meter per second. The marble falls 0.70 meters away from the table's edge. How high is the lab table? What is the marble's velocity just before it hits the floor? So let us summarize what we have discussed for this lesson. Projectile motion can be observed in many sports events just like in javelin throw, basketball, tennis, and many more. Projectile is the object being thrown in a curve path. And the curve path the projectile takes is called the trajectory. And the horizontal distance is called the range. That's all for this lesson. I hope you learned a lot from our discussion. Have a good day. Goodbye class.